Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> you up for today? <laughs> Mate, what have you got there? It's finally happening, guys. Ian, the master of pieces. A Welsh pokey picker. We were meant to be meeting up, when was it? This time last month? Yeah, it was, and it was all snow. Snow, ice, so we just binned it off. Today, we're going to go for it. You've been messaging me all week, saying that we're, we're like Gandalf and Bilbo Baggins. Or Batman and Robin. Or Batman and Robin. So today... Our quest is going to take us over the valleys to the church in Penegraig. We'll drop down to Tonopandi, mm. follow the river up to Porth and finish our quest in Tonorevel. See if we can find some treasure. Mate, I'm so up for it today, are you? Yeah, definitely. Find some bits to resell on eBay. Let's do it. Oh, I love that. What have you found there? SpongeBob SquarePants! SpongeBob SquarePants backpack. Got burgers on the zips, official Spongebob tag there. First find of the day. Have a look at these here, from Skechers, three wheelers. Now, I've, I've seen Heelys before, but never seen these. Three on the back. Look pretty sweet, don't they? Tool in the bottom there as well. Got the original box, we'll give these a go. Well, that was a nice surprise, the lighthouse project. Our quest starts at the lighthouse. As well as the bag and the sketches, I found a nice gap jumper for my son. And this is pretty cool. A little baby romper suit, Nike Air Jordan. Look at that, 24 month old. Not check solds, but I'm hoping that the name will carry that through. Con's got a strop on, struck out on that first charity shop. Usually, he's the one who cleans up in the first place. I'm usually the slow starter. Empty handed. Empty handed, feeling good today. Look in the window here. Couple of Transformers, Wolverine, Doc Ock, Rhino, Con spotted him. I know, we're looking, that's where we're looking. That's sweet, and up in the window, Lions jersey. Right, let's, let's get in there. You've got to get that, 60p, come on, let's go. A couple of board games tucked down under here as well, eh? Complete box, Monopoly. Sun damaged, but only two quid. Still worth picking up. This one's intriguing as well. Electronic Victory. A new entertainment. Looks old. Oh, that's cool. Looks cool, doesn't it? Victory at sea. We'll, we'll, we'll check solds. But as cool as it looks, the solds aren't really there. Seven, eight quid maybe plus postage. So we'll leave that. And have a look at these here. Two quid for a pair of Dr. Martin's, Dr. Martin's Bonnie. They don't have the insoles in. If I'm honest, I don't know if they're genuine or not, but for two quid, you're always going to take the risk. I'll do a bit more research. Dr. Martin stamped on the sole there. They look pretty decent. The church at Penegraig. Now you've got an absolute ton of Lego Duplo boxes here. Five quid for that. Three quid for that. That's mega blocks in there. And a ton of Duplo at the back there. And if you if you fancied going through it and sorting through it all and selling it all on, there'd be money, yeah? It ends up just in a big bag in my garage, not doing much. Look at that, though. That little, that little Duplo trailer. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? I had to get it. It was only a fiver for the whole tub. And there's enough vehicle pieces in here. There's a few little Duplo men. Look at that. Even little bits like that, selling off individually. You can you can make some decent money. What have you found there? Who's that? Jurassic World. Jurassic World. Quite cute, isn't he? That's a creepy. Looks like a little triceratops. No, fish wallet. I'll take your word for it. Should we get it? Yeah. Let's go for it. We're just having a quick look through the DVDs, and there's loads of these original Spider-Man DVDs. If we can find a load of them. It might make a nice decent bundle. Let's see how many we can see. What have you found, Con? Williams Racing Bear. Class, man. I love picking stuff up like this. If it's like affiliated to an F1 team or anything like that, mm. that's a top find. I'll probably end up giving it to the local pub. Yeah, it's cool, though. Well, I like Tom Cruise. 
Danger zone. <laughs> hey, shoot you, mate. You want to get them? That might be copyright claim, but then no. Not a bad start to the day, Colin. We both found a few little bits. Yep, definitely. Next stop, Tonda Pandy. Tonda Pandy. Let's do it. Mastermobile. Oh, mate, it's... We're not calling it the Mastermobile. It's... You make everything sound so Fifty Shades. Fifty Shades, mate. <laughs> Look at that in here, there. Batman. One ninety nine. And that is Schleck. Little Schleck logo there. Oh, he's sweet. Great condition, no scratching, only 199. Yeah, we'll get him. Last time I was in here, I picked up a load of rugby shirts. Look at that. Adidas, Wales football jersey. Four quid is very small. On oh, medium. Nothing on the back, excellent condition. Bargain, that is for four quid. It's a builder bear. See the little heart tag there? Smurfette. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a dress on. No price. Sold maybe eight, nine quid. Uh, we'll put it back. Actually, I've just checked sold on that. Really disappointing. You'd be lucky to get a fiver all in. We'll stick it back in there. And if I want one, I'll get one off eBay. How about this for some wild pricing? Look at that. Match attacks tin in the 2015 16 season. That says £20 and 99p. 21 quid for a tin of match attacks. Also, nice little find in that shop. We've got this Harry Potter fancy dress outfit. It's World Book Day coming up. This will be perfect for my son. It's not always buying bits to resell. It's buying stuff you might use yourself too. Drive is a £10 game. Yeah. Is it? Six pound trading. Class. And I think the Transformers one was going for about four, something like that. Something like that. Three, four. There was that lad who came in behind you, fuming. He, he had his eyes on that, didn't he? Eight pound trading. That's a that's a twelve pound game. What for Sonic? Yeah, oh, that's class, What's man. What's Minecraft going for now? Eight pound trading. He was pound. fuming, wasn't he? That boy behind you. Absolutely, red fist. <laughs> Snooze, you loser, aren't you? Oh, have a look at these. I used to have a pair of these back in sixth form. Oh, I thought I was the boy. What are they? UK size nine, make them my size. I'm, I'm getting them, getting them for the memories. So, what, what do you think of them? These shoes are absolutely class. They're called Puma Monstro. And actually they got a bit of resale value. Could be looking 30 to 40 quid for those. Oi, oi, sailor. <laughs> He's mad, we've lost him. He's mad. <laughs> Look at that for a jumper. Welsh poker picker, subscribe here. Hey, come on, check this. I always look out for these. These little bath toys. Disney Cars bath toys. What do they want? Three quid for four? That is definitely worth picking those up. They sell pretty well and they sell pretty quick. Show me these then. What have you found? They are. They look like Jurassic World or Jurassic Park puppets. Look at that. Got all their claws on there. Teeth look pretty decent. Can I just have a look at this one? A bit of a split on the side, but look, it is for 1996 Lost World Jurassic Park. 2.99 each. Absolute steal. Great bargain that. I'm tucked in the corner here. Look, there's a leap start. Leapfrog, leap start. 4.99. Let's have a look. Got the pen with it. And to bundle in with it, we have got four Leap Start books. We'll pick that one up. There's a little lost skateboard tucked to the back. Is that World Industries? That's cool, isn't it? Official tech deck. Loving that. And have a look at this little beast here. It looks like some out of Godzilla, doesn't it? It is five quid. But I just love the style of it. There's no markings, no date. Little bit rough around the edges, little spine snapped off the top of the back there, but he's just got that Godzilla look about him. I just absolutely love him. He's coming home with us. So what a day out. We both found some bits. We've been to three or four different towns, picked up a variety of stuff. And <laughs> you'd never guess what old Bilbo's found over here. Precious. <laughs>
<laughs> what have you found, Con? Come on, tell us. A diamond gold ring. Look at that. Nine carats. How can you tell us? How can you tell us nine carat then? Well, it should have a stamp. It's three seven five, very minute. Got yeah yeah. And then uh, it should say D I A or something like that, which stands for the diamonds. But I'll have to have it double checked. What so, a brilliant find! One ring to rule them all. <laughs> Throw it in the flames! Throw it in the flames! Oh, don't worry. You won't have gone far. That's his local pub up there. So Con's been dropped off. He's gone back to his lair. Now, Connor was kind enough to give me a couple of bags of stock in the boot. He picks up so much really good stuff and all of it he just keeps in his bedroom. So sometimes when it just accumulates too much, I give him a bit of cash, buy some surplus stock. I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in there. We'll do that in the next video. Let's head back to the garage. Let me show you some eBay salts. This weekend has been one of the best weekends of sales I've ever had on eBay. I've sold 250 pounds worth of stuff across the two days. Doesn't sound like much compared to others, but remember, my target is 500 pounds profit per month. If I'm selling 250 quids worth of stuff in one weekend, that's a large chunk of that profit just in two days. And there's some really cool items here, check these. When I showed you these shoes, I thought they were absolutely disgusting. The green and the pink, they just it just doesn't do it for me. But thank you to those in the comments who said that these are actually a really desirable colorway of Air Max 97s. They're called watermelon shoes or Miami shoes. Looking on eBay solds, these are actually pretty special. People have got these listed brand new for way over 120, 130 quid. These ones are pre-owned, although not too bad, still a heck of a lot of life left in them. I sold these for £70 all in, UK size 9, they sold within the same day of listing. Quite a difficult one to price, I could have probably priced them higher and sold them for higher but I didn't know how long they'd hang around for. Remember I only paid £3 for these, so I take that into account. I've made a nice chunk of change relatively quickly and someone a lot cooler than me has got a decent pair of trainers. Bit more of a modest sale, this pair of UK size 6 pink Converse's, 12 quid all in got to get this next one it's just up there this is an absolute whopper what we've got here is the vampire's castle from the monster hunter lego range i really really love it there's loads of stuff going on trap doors secret passageways there's even dracula's little coffin down there now a couple of weeks ago i bought a huge bundle of lego from the charity shop it was a box full of instructions part complete sets loads of minifigures I made the decision there and then to just go for it. As a family, we love doing Lego. So to come across such a large bundle, it was a no brainer for us. I looked at some of the minifigures, I looked at some of the sets in there and knew that those couple of sets, if all complete, would have pretty much made my money back. But I didn't realize how special that bundle would be. Now this one isn't complete, but all the core components of it are there. I'm gonna put this down before I drop it. And also in that big box of stuff was three other Monster Hunter sets, smaller sets. I listed all of them together as one lot and they have sold for 125 quid all in, going on the global shipping program. Now I'm sure actually I might have some of the bits inside, but I spent enough time to get my maximum value out of it. To get the most value out of it, what I could have done is broke down the sets, cross-referenced the pieces against the instructions, sourced them off of Bricklink and then sold them as 100% complete sets. That's what I used to do back in the day but that is time consuming. And although I could sell these sets for more individually, the time it would take me to actually go through that process just wouldn't be worth my time. I've got a lot more stock there that I can list really quickly at the same time it would take for me to find those pieces and then sell it for that little bit more. Check out this monster high doll. This is Serena Von Boo the mermaid. Fold out her tail and it makes a nice little base of the skirt there. Quite a cool design. Lots of little dangly bits coming off of her wrists. I've got a feeling actually she glows in the dark. This Monster High doll has gone for £22 all in. A couple of Trackmaster sales are showing now. I bought 30 trains for 50 quid. All of them now are listed and they're starting to sell. This is Scruff Trackmaster Revolution because it's got spikes on the wheel. Scruff has gone for just under 15 quid. Flynn the fire truck with his little fire wagon that goes on the back there. Some of these Ninjango sets can be worth a lot of money. And on a good day, 100% complete with the box. You could be looking at a hundred quid for this one. 
Well, there are a few bits missing with this one, similar to that Monster Fighters castle. The valuable parts for this set though are the minifigures and I've got all four minifigures in there with the instructions. This set has gone for just under 50 quid all in. So sales Monday and Tuesday haven't quite hit the heights of the weekend, but still five sales to show you. These are the first two, Monster Jam, Monster Trucks. Now I appreciate that showing you these all the time might get a little bit tiring, but it does reinforce that is a demand for these die cast monster trucks. And if you can pick them up for 50p to a pound each, you're gonna be onto a winner. This Jurassic Attack truck here, that one sold for 10 quid all in. This is a Hot Wheels one, Monster Jam, Monster Truck, all fried up, picture of some chips on there. Really nice color scheme. It's like the McCain oven chips colors, isn't it? That's gone global shipping, Italy, 10 quid all in. We sold Trackmaster Molly, relatively rare and a pretty desirable character. That's where the drive comes from, the tender at the back there. Reasonable condition, few scrapes on her face there, bit of pen on the top there. It's just been well played with. Sold for £12.50 plus postage, that one. Shout out Ricky Lee. I know he does this a lot. If he finds a pair of shoes or some clothes that he likes in the charity shop but are worth reselling as well, he actually keeps them for a bit to get some use out of them before selling them on. Exactly what I did with these. These are Adidas Equipment 9117s. They're kind of running, sporty trainers, but more virgin on the fashionable side of fitness trainers. I bought these this time last year, got a summer out of them, decided to sell them on. They've gone for £17.50 plus postage. And the final sale, I have sold this Build-A-Bear Lamb. It's pretty old, really. It doesn't have the conventional Build-A-Bear stamps, but it's got the Build-A-Bear tag and also that little Build-A-Bear heart tag there. Special thing about this sheep, it's got the swirly hooves. Not in the best condition though, a little bit of a thread on its nose. Still, gone for 15 quid all in. So guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making this one. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Shout out to Owen, first commenter, last video. That's his third, he's joint lead with Adam Malpass. And of course, shout out Connor, the Welsh poker picker. What a legend. Go over, check him out, subscribe to him too. Next video... I want to take you through these bags that Connor's left me. Little sneak peek. There are some absolute gems in here and I've only just scratched the surface. Can't wait to show you that one. I hope you enjoyed this video too. Catch you in the next one.